Well, welcome to the free live Monday Marketing Plan q and I'm John Hunt, author and marketing strategist with MarketingPlanGuide.com. We do this every Monday uh, from 3 o'clock to 3.30 Central Time. And the uh, purpose of this session is to allow you to ask any questions related to creating your marketing plan. Okay, our next question is this. Um, uh, ties in with one of our other questions and if you, if you want to see uh, the archive of this you can always go to marketingplanguide.com forward slash questions we have the uh, last week's program uh, always archived up there with the questions individually uh, posted but then also uh, we have on our YouTube channel which is youtube.com forward slash marketingplanguide uh, we have individually taken all the questions and we've put them together uh, into single questions with single answers and there's uh, you can go through that list and take a look at them anyway uh, you know some of the things that we're talking about in this question are covered in the other videos but I'm gonna do my best here to talk about where are the best places to research who your target audience is what their needs are and, and so on and so forth so uh, where are those uh, best places well I, I'm gonna try to stay true to the question the, the places to find out the information the, the very best place to find out uh, information about your target customer and your uh, their needs are really direct from the customer or prospect them, themselves. I mean that is how you you know straight from the horse's mouth. This is how you actually really assess. And we'll talk in a moment, maybe more specifically, how we do that with both uh, current customers and uh, prospects, because there really is a difference there uh, between those who know you and those who are just getting to know you. But you know, if you can get that information out uh, from them directly, that's the best way to do it. But if you don't have access to that right away, um, you know, industry profile or prior knowledge. You could take a look at uh, either industry trade magazines or just really uh, examine the industry and say, you know, who has a need uh, for this product or service. Going back to that section two of the marketing plan, where we're developing our target audience. I mean, you need to assess where that is. Uh, and maybe some of that comes from prior knowledge. Maybe you've worked in this industry. There's a reason that you're in the business you're in uh, because you've seen an opportunity. And so you, I'm assuming you know a little bit about your audience. So uh, perhaps some of that prior knowledge. Of course, this is not as good as getting it directly from the customer or prospect themselves. But it is, it is a good way, uh, you know, at least to get some. If you have some prior knowledge about the uh, the industry or the the kind of customer you're going after. And then you know, if you really have no customers, if you're a startup, you're new, then you've got to do some test marketing. You got to find out some information. You got to make assumptions. Uh, you got to uh, throw out some tests, and then you got to uh, examine the data and say, is this you know kind of thing working or not? So that's uh, test marketing is a whole other question for a whole other uh, a whole other video. So uh, let's uh, first start about what we do know about our potential customers. You know, because it's difficult to assess their needs without knowing their profile first, and that's where we really talk about creating that uh, ideal customer profile in section uh, two of the marketing plan. Now, once you have the profile, uh, then you can uh, engage them to assess their needs. Now, if you have current customers, uh, there's a few ways you can do this. These are people who already know you, maybe trust you a little bit. Uh, informal or formal surveys, and there's a lot of different ways you can do that. Um, you can send an email out and say, hey, we just want some feedback from you. Can you answer this survey? Uh, you can have an event where people are at, and you can informally ask them. You can call them up and say, hey, you know, I just got a quick question for you. Uh, I want to find out you know, just I have a couple questions about such and such. And your current customers will be good allies for you to uh, help maybe give you some of those answers. Uh, the other thing is getting a little bit more formal is just more of a needs analysis conversation. Especially when you're meeting someone, you know, a newer customer, you can go in there and just do a, you know, the, the, the history and physical, the checkup of what this person has been involved in the past, and there's, there's a bunch of questions you can ask yourself, very similar to the questions that we um, ask when we're doing our own marketing plan in the uh, situation analysis portion. So uh, you know, what are those questions that you need to find answers for to help you, uh, you know, really find out what the need is of that market? And this is more for current customers. Uh, for your uh, prospective customers, uh, we look at more um, how they respond to offers. Uh, it's kind of like going fishing and throwing out different bait and seeing what bites. Uh, you know, seeing what the fish bite on. And uh, so you may be doing some, you know, some testing with some uh, prospective customers where you send them an offer or, you know, engage them some way and see, you know, what they respond to. 
Uh, and, uh, you know, reply cards are a great uh, way to take and get feedback from people. So if you send out, a, say, a double uh, postcard mailing and you want to get uh, some response back to them, you just have them tear off the card and they mail it back in. Uh, that's one way to do it. You can do it with an email. Hey, reply back to this email. I just want to have a couple questions for you. Uh, here's an offer. I'd like to give you such and such uh, if you can answer a few questions for me. Uh, so anyway, you want to uh, really do this by engaging them in a conversation. You've got to get inside their head somehow. So you engage them uh, and you use whatever tool you can, whether it's the phone or email or a reply card through direct mail. Uh, and then really, again, uh, this is more in the, in the line of test marketing, uh, beta test, trial. You may offer a trial offer or, hey, we're testing this concept out. Uh, here's the thing we want to do. Would you be interested in finding out more about this? You know, very uh, low-key way to uh, get people to engage with you. But if uh, a number of people do, you know, well, maybe I have something here. And in that beta test, you might be able to get valuable information uh, that you can use to help really craft your final offer uh, that you want to really roll out on more on a larger scale. So once you have uh, profiled the uh, customer, you can engage them uh, to assess the need. And this is really uh, the way you go about you know, finding out the target audience and finding out what their needs are. And you really need to have that done before you start any marketing. And it is a process, folks, kind of like which came first, the chicken or the egg. How do I create something unless I talk to the customer? But if I can't create it first and see if the customer wants it, you know, how do I balance that out? It's, uh, it's just a combination of testing uh, and, and trying to uh, get that offer out and seeing what kind of uh, response you have to that offer. John Hunt here from MarketingPlanGuide.com saying so long and uh, thank you for attending and we'll see you next Monday at 3 o'clock p.m. Central Time.